everybody, and uh, did my background just turn green? Hey guys, Bobby here, and um, as you can see, I have a new um, setup for the figure reviews. I have a brand new background area, so it makes it, it helps with the details, so you can see um, what I'm reviewing better. Speaking of that, today we have the Mezco 112 Clickable Spider-Man Homecoming figure. Uh, the box, eh, it's blue with this, like, weird, um, texturing printed on it. Spider-Man Homecoming, Marvel, Spider-Man, you got it. Uh, on the side, the side, it's got red with the Spider-Man logo. On the top, it's 112. At the bottom, it's Mezco. Same thing on this side. On the back, you see what you get. Alright, so getting right into it. Uh, this Spider-Man is, uh, well... He's got some issues. Um, we'll just address that real quick. Uh, one, his accessories. Now, the original Spider-Mans, that being the black suit Spider-Man, the comic book one, I don't know if the homemade suit from Homecoming or the Miles Morales has the same issue, but he's lacking in webbing. He's got the short web, but he doesn't have the long web, and he doesn't have the, uh, the long web that's kind of gripping, sort of. We'll show that off later in the comparisons, but uh, he doesn't come with that. He does have the bendy wire web, like every other Spider-Man from the Mezco lines do, but instead he also, but he has a, a more unique web that the other ones do not have, and that's cool. And we'll pose him with these here in a minute. He also comes with this um, web wings. Now, the web wings I like because it has this little peg, or it's not a peg, but it's got a little thing where it can peg into the arm, the base. And that's perfect for getting some really cool shots for pictures. Or cool poses if you want. But, yeah, I, I like that better than having him with the, the hand. He also comes with two interchangeable webbing hands. And he's got like the little black web shooter piece in there. He's also got the little um, slit in there so that the webbing can fit in there. I like that they always have those that way fits nice and snug in there and it looks like he's shooting a web and doesn't kind of like how the Mafex did it but that one showed the web all running around it so it kind of looked like he had a white like a white wristband around him this completely hides it so that's that's good on their part comes with and the, the other comic book ones have two of these this one has one so that's another shame. He's got the two fists that he comes in ba in the box with. He's got these two, what I would say, wall crawling open hands, which are really nicely detailed. And he comes with two different heads. He's got a, go ahead and swap. He's got his, what I like to call his more wide-eyed, wide-eyed um, head. He's got his, what I think is his more normal head, which is basically his normal expression head. And his angry slash trying to focus in on something head. Get all three heads in there. They're they're basically the same head, and they're what on the floor. They're basically the same head, just um, different eye expressions. Trying to find that um head real quick. I'll probably cut this out. 
So, you know, they're cool. And the, 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 the detail in the head and the eyes are really good. If you look, you probably can't tell, but the black has like this mechanical thing like you had in the movie. It's sculpted in there, but it's also that the eyes are kind of like goggle looking sunglasses texture in there. That's really cool. And the webbing is what I could say is double printed. It's the best way to explain it. It's got two different threads of webbing instead of just one. That's part of the homecoming suit, so it doesn't matter, but it's got all this tech look to it. That's really cool. Um, this is the only um, MCU Spider-Man I have in my collection. So I thought, why not go ahead and pick the Mezco one up? Obviously, it comes with this cool looking base. It's all black. Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel. Yeah. The web. The bendy web fits into his holy hand pretty good these hands are really soft so when you just slide that in it gets in it fits in there pretty easily so yeah all right and you know you can change the hands pretty easily not that hard so you want you know one hand getting ready to shoot a web So go in there we go and one hand you want holding a web holding the web line you could do so he stands okay on his own not too bad he's not top heavy or anything get hit, get him with a fist right punch the vulture or Captain America, if you like. Um, his web wings go on fairly good. But you have to finagle the arms up. And here's another issue I have with this guy. And there's two issues with the arms. Uh, one is the cloth on it. When I'm trying to pose his arms up, whether it's because of the web wings or just because I want to get him in a, a pose where his arms are in the air. Here's the issue I'm having. If I get that to stay in. Here he is with his web wings all stretched out ready to fly. And if you can't tell, the cloth's all bunched up around his shoulders. And it's already starting to damage the cloth. And that was the first time posing the arms up, it damaged, it started to damage it. So that's an issue with the material in the red for the cloth. Um, I really wish Mezco could find a way to fix that because that is an issue I've been having with the other Spider-Mans. Moving the cloth around, the red rubbery textures on it gets damaged when you pose him and that's an issue then another big issue is I think his arms are damaged what do you mean his arms are damaged I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't think it's not that I think they're broken it's that and I'll show you this is his arm right it's not in the socket his arm is not connected to a shoulder Now you could peg it back in there, but when I move it around, it falls out. Now it's not like it's a loose fit and it's not gonna move around. And his arm still bends. It can still turn. It's not a big issue, but I've had a Captain I had the I have the Captain America. Or I did. And it had similar issues. This is both of the arms, by the way. Both of them are doing this. My Captain America had the same issue. And you know what happened to that? Uh, well, for one, it was, a, it was a bootleg. But this is what happened to it. Well, at least the body. 
this is what's left of the Captain America. It fell apart. Now, I'm not saying that's, you know, the arms are the issue, but that's what it started with. If I could find one of the arms, I could show you. There we go. This is the issue I'm having. So, this is what the arm basically looks like underneath. And... This part connected to this part is disconnecting. This had the same issue. And it was basically more on this side than it was up here, that, like the Spider-Man is, because it's a different build. But when it did it, the joints and the elbows, this one like it is, is extremely loose. This one, however, isn't loose, so it's not an issue. But the way it's all built, it does alarm me. So I don't want to mess with his arms too much. And that's one of the other issues I have with it. The other one is, he's a little... He, he His costume's a little big on him. At least under in the under section, you can tell that the costume's a little bit big on him. He doesn't quite... Isn't quite a perfect fit. It's not a big deal, but it's a... It is noticeable. But he does have good articulation, I will say. Well, decent. His neck um, could be better, I think. Uh, his head, when you want, if you want to look all the way down, that's as best as you can get. Now, Mezco, I've seen better. And with Spider-Man, he should have wide movement, especially in his head. So... Down pretty much that much. Up, well, that's about that much. Now you think, oh, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's not, that camera's not really that flat on the, it's not, the camera doesn't really show it that well, but yeah, he doesn't look up that far. Now, if you want to look, make him look better, you're like he's in his flying pose with his web wings. You're gonna have to mess with his torso a little bit. So you know, and it kind of gets a little wrinkly when you start bending it, so it looks weird. But that's kind of understanding what Mezco at at this point. But you know, he'll turn. It's all on ball joints, so you know, arm's gonna go up about that much. It's gonna go. All the way is gonna go. It's gonna go up about that far before the cloth stops it. Upper arm can swivel. Elbow has a double jointed in the um, in the uh, elbow. He's got the standard Mezco joint, so it, it swivels and it bent and it has a joint, and you can swivel that joint so it can go this way. Or you can spin it to go up that way. Standard hand joint from Esco. Torso goes with is on two ball joints, one the top, one the lower part, and it bends about that far back. Yeah, you can go a little farther. You can go about that far back. It can go that far down. His legs can go out. This much, so pretty good. They can swivel a little bit. Then the hip, legs go up about that much. And legs go back about that much. Got double jointed knees. He's got ball joints. In a ball joint in the foot so I can swivel. It's got the ankle pivot. That's about it for his articulation. All in all, this isn't a bad Spider Man. I do enjoy I did enjoy it. I had some issues when I was getting them and I was kinda of having second thoughts of getting him before I before the pre order came in. But all in all, am I glad I got it? Yeah, since I got him, I can't stop messing with him and posing him around. Obviously, the homecoming suit is a very classic design, 
So I, I definitely dig the suit. As a figure, it's got bright blue and bright red. It's kind of hard to see with the camera. I try to mess with the settings around to get around that. But he's got some bright colors, so it looks great. I like Spider-Man when he's got that bright colors scheme with him. And yeah, I think this is a good Spider-Man figure to add to your collection. Uh, is he stacks up with the other Mezco Spider-Mans? He's got the teenage body, so, you know, he's a little bit smaller. Hopefully, they use the same body for a Miles Morales figure. Because I know they used the, um, the Miles figure they made was really um, tall, which shouldn't have been. So, maybe they'll re-release him with this body. That'd be cool. Other than that, yeah, this is a pretty good Spider-Man. Uh, let's go ahead and cut and go into figure comparisons to other Mezco figures. We'll go on to the Mafex Spider-Man and we'll show off some Marvel Legends. And before we get into that, I forgot to show off the magnet clip that he comes with. This is pretty strong. It's um, so he can hang up upside down. That's cool. He's not going to fall unless you really try. So it's a pretty good strong magnet. Pretty good. All right. Here he is, the original Spider-Man Mezco did. Um, as you can see, Spider-Man's a little too big. I would probably would have preferred if he was not as little as he is, but a little bit big taller than he was for this version of Spider-Man. But we won't get into that. But this is the webbing that this Spider-Man came with that this one didn't. He has this long stretched out web that I forgot to mention. And he's got this longer web longer than the little short web not by much but pretty close and he's got um, this long web that's stretching out to grab something or someone so you know and they all are compatible with each other so it doesn't matter and if you're wondering um, can you put any of the homecoming heads on this Spider-Man? Technically, yes, but does it look good? Not, I mean, it, it, it can work, but the head's a lot brighter on this head than it would be on the other one. And it has a little smaller on that body. But, yeah, it, theoretically you could. And that means, yes, you can switch this head on. It just means that he's going to have a really big head. And here he is compared to the black suit Spider-Man. My very first Mezco figure. Before the Michael Myers one I got. He looks okay with Spider-Man here. I mean obviously um, they're not meant to be in scale with each other which is being a comic book and movie versions. But you know comparing the two um, company Spider-Man. There's only five different Spider-Mans they've made, so this being the first one I've gotten to the last one I've gotten, they're pretty good, I guess. Here he is with the Mafex Spider-Man, and they both look pretty good to each other. This is probably my favorite Spider-Man figure of all time. This one is probably a close second or third. Here he is compared to a few Venoms I have in my collection, and here he is the only Miles Morales figure in my collection and my custom Sandman figure. And here he is compared to a few Marvel Legends I have on hand, the Vintage Captain America, the um, Apocalypse, Build-A-Figure Wolverine, Tiger Stripe, and the Toy Biz Face-Off Hulk. And last but not least, the Mezco 112 Iron Man. All in all, with his, all his accessories, his posability, his design, He's a really good figure. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Really solid. If you want to add a homecoming MCU Spider-Man to your collection, this is not a bad way to go. And, well, it's not. this may not be the most expensive one. It is really high in price. But you could probably get a Marvel Legends around $20 or less. So, is it the best option? Eh... Maybe not, but it's not a bad option either. 
if you want a good Spider-Man figure collection, this is probably uh, one of the good ways to go with it. At least MCU-wise. Spider-Man specifically? Oh, there's a lot better Spider-Man figures. Is he the best Mezco Spider-Man? <sighs> no. I think the black suit one blows it out of the park with accessories. And, well, maybe not accessories, but an articulation, definitely. The Red Suit Spider-Man, I think, wins with accessories. And this one wins in design. Alright, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bobby, out.